And the lob pass never works against the full court press. Here's Gordon down the lane, flips it up off the glass and goes. Oh, look at the spinny handle that ball. Goes high off the backboard, spins right down. 21 points now for Eric Gordon. 7-5 a scoring average. We're tied at 34. Lobbed inside to Johnson. Beautiful play. 21 points now for Jawan Johnson and a personal foul. The basket is good and the foul is going to be on James Hollowell. 2-1 in. Wow, that's the play they tried to run in the first half. Watch the, the good pass here. Nobody can get that ball except Johnson. Comes right down on the rim. And Hollowell with a foul. Franklin Central attacking that basket. We mentioned earlier on this young man at the line who now has... 22 points is headed for Purdue University. Well, congrats to the Boilermakers. They had a pretty darn good year up there. Will they get in the NCAA? We'll find out. IU, same situation. Three-pointer up and good by Gordon. That, that was on the Butler of Butler University. Well beyond the pro line. And a foul. Let's see. They're looking at Evan Gordon. Let's see if that's who the foul is going to be on. On the inbounds pass, Evan Gordon picks up a foul. There's Doug Mitchell. What a shot by Eric Gordon. All right, watch it. He just walked across the uh, Butler University, painted on the floor near half court, and drops in that three-point shot, tie the game again. So we'll make the trip to the other end of the floor. You're looking into the face of John Ashworth, the 6'3 senior. He has scored the two points. That was a field goal this quarter. Misses the free throw. Ashworth is averaging almost 13 a game, so they've done a pretty good job of shutting him down. Tied at 37. Not anymore. That's Gordon. Oh, that's Evan Gordon. That's Evan Gordon. Not Eric. Evan Gordon with that one. He had only 10 three-pointers coming into the game in the whole season. Quickly up court. They go get two of them back with Ashworth. I mentioned he had scored only two points. He's got a field goal now. Back to back. And the three-point numbers, 5 of 11, North Central. Well, that'll get you in the game in a hurry. Brian Franklin Central's not scored from behind the arc. This is the pace now that favors North Central, nope. up and down the floor. No question, Laz. This is not what Franklin Central wanted, I don't think. North Central, I believe, wants a timeout. Doug Mitchell says, get him over here. Lawrence Central scored, or uh, I'm sorry, North Central scored 14 points, and uh, Franklin Central scored 11. So we still have three minutes to go. Yeah. Remember, it was tied the first quarter, 7-7. Seven seven, seven. Seven. Yeah. So the pace is just quick and so dramatically that it's changed the entire basketball and, game. And look what Doug Mitchell's done at that timeout. He said, let's slow this thing down. His team leads by one, and now they're taking a little air out of the ball. Keep in mind now, this is the second game of the day for both of these clubs. And as last mentioned earlier, Franklin Central had to play the second game. So they lost a couple of hours at least of rest time that North Central had for the advantage with playing early. Franklin Central's in a zone. Hotzik, Hotzik, travel. They got it where they wanted it, and Adnan just couldn't do anything with it. Yeah. North Central's going to run some time there, but if they get the ball inside, they'll go. Traveling call, though. Prevented that basket. 13 turnovers now for the Panthers at North Central High School, one of the larger schools in the state of Indiana. Hard to the hoop. What a move that time by Preston Hopper. 13 points now for Hopper, who came in averaging only seven per. A nice, strong move that time. That's what you want uh, late in the ball game. Another lead change. That's three now. 41-40 in favor of Franklin Central. We hit toward the two-minute mark of the fourth quarter of this game. With the lead, North Central took a little more time. Now that they're behind, they got to get the ball to Gordon and see what he can do. Here's the long-range shot. Nothing doing. Hopper all by his lonesome for the uncontested defensive board. Now we'll see what Franklin Central may want to do. They want to take the air out of the ball. Falling down, turning it back over. In a hurry up the other way, Kevin Gant. Gant in the corner, almost let it get away. Gant's really being dogged down there by Preston Hopper, and we'll get a timeout. He, he hasn't touched the ball in a while, hasn't scored. I think you're going to look for him on this possession. They got two guys defending him right in the paint area. Gant will throw it in. Now let's keep an eye on Gordon. 2 3 zone by Franklin Central. Gordon way outside. And they have to play. They found the open man. Here's the three. It's too short. 
Rebound by here's Devin Gordon. Here's the long range three by Eric Gordon. Do you believe that? Now that's that's what you want. They tried to score without and the rebound came out long. As soon as he got that ball, you knew it was going up. He makes the three-point shot. Watch the play now. It's a wide open shot. You gotta take that one. That's Evan. The long rebound misses. He goes right to the big brother. Boom. That is a big league play right there. That's five three-pointers in the game for Eric Gordon. I mentioned he had 49 coming into today's play. Eric Gordon now, after getting four three-pointers in this afternoon's game, five tonight, now with 58 three-pointers on the year. 43-41 in favor of North Central with a minute 10 to go in this ball game. North Central 2-3 zone. First time we've seen them in a zone, so Franklin Central's trying to figure out how they're going to attack this now. It's a little more difficult to get the ball to Johnson. Yeah, they got him shoved way out in the corner out there. They got a man behind him and a man in front of him. And a three-point field goal by Ashworth. <laughs> wow, what a play by Ashworth. Fifth lead change. Ashworth had not scored in the first three quarters. He's put seven up there in this quarter below. It's foul on Franklin Central. 44.2. All right, look at this. It's double team on Johnson, so Ashworth has to take the shot from the outside. He can make those, as you saw right there. Ashworth is a junior. Uh, I'm sorry, he's a senior as well. So he knows how crucial this last 44 seconds is for him. Six out of seven for the line for Eric Gordon. These are big free throws here because if he can make them both, then... It would take a three just to tie the game. It rattles out of there, and the rebound comes up into the hands of Jawan Johnson. And a steal. Inside they go to Gordon. That's a great play. Kevin Gant came up with the steal and goes right to Eric Gordon. He gets to make up for that missed free throw. Here's the pull-up popper from three-point land. Nothing doing this time by Ashworth. And out of bounds with 26.2, and a personal foul is going to be called. All right, watch. Eric Gordon, nobody to rebound, misses the free throw, but look at the steal. Gant comes in, makes the steal. Eric Gordon, Johnson can't recover, and Gordon makes up for the missed free throw. The foul is on Preston Hopper. That'll be four on him. And little brother Emmett, the 6'1 sophomore, will go to the free throw line. He is one out of two for the strike tonight. Comes into the game shooting 69% from the free throw st uh, strike. And he has been a great addition in this ballgame. Didn't play much this afternoon. And has had a wonderful night game for North Central. 11 points for Evan. That's double his scoring average of five and a half. And a timeout will be taken by Franklin Central. 99. Well, not yeah, take it. They won uh, two regionals. The last one was in 99. They won it in 79 and uh, 99. This free throw is big and it's good. So Evan Gordon having a terrific fourth quarter. In fact, the Gordons have scored all the points for North Central in the fourth quarter. Wow. 15 seconds to play. You got to go for the three now, I suppose. Good looking shot. Licklider off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound and a foul in a hurry. Yep, got to go for the three. And that was good with 10 seconds because you're trying to get the rebound. Points now for Kevin Gant. And eight points in the quarter for Evan Gordon. Five seconds to play, long range shot, no good. Two seconds, one second, rebound North Central, they're gonna win it. 49-44. Last, Franklin Central did what we said they had to do, keep the score low, and North Central still got the job done. They did, you mentioned, Jerry, those last five minutes, that was the difference in the game, that tempo picked up, and North Central took advantage of it, and won this ball game, they're going to the semi-state.